Hey everybody, how are you going? Uh, this is Tim. Um, I'm the author of this book, which you may have encountered before, Rust in Action. And I am very happy to say I am also one of this year's Rust Foundation Fellows. Among a group of us, uh, ooh, I dropped the book. Uh, blah, what am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say, first of all, is thank you to everyone who looked through the 150 plus applications and everyone who submitted an application. It's a very, very difficult task to kind of get the mental energy to say, you know what, I deserve this. And I think it would have been extremely difficult to make a decision of from 150 down to say 12 in a context of reduced funding for the program and uh, very high expectations for what the fellows want to do. And just trying to balance everything must have been really challenging. There'll be several questions about why I was chosen um, and what I want to do. And so I thought I would answer or preempt a, a few of those by saying, I'm not a compiler engineer. <laughs> so what am I, well, what know, am I doing? I, uh, my application was focused around being able to promote Rust or being able to expand Rust's growth, particularly in Asia. And I want to do that through two vehicles. One is by delivering more openly licensed content around the use of Rust in production and openly licensed content around using Rust at scale, using Rust in a commercial setting. And secondly, I want to host more webinars and trainings that are available at hours for people in Asian time zones. And uh, so that's what you'll be seeing over the next couple of months is me developing or sketching out um, drafts and outlines and ideas and soliciting feedback. And I encourage you to participate. I really want your ideas. And, uh, and I am extremely grateful to the foundation, staff, project directors, everyone who's looked through all of these applications. I can't imagine how stressful it must have been. And, uh, and also everyone in the Rust community for uh, providing the uh, kind of uh, this opportunity for me, as well as all of the commercial support provided for these community grants. If you do have the opportunity to speak to someone with uh, with a checkbook, <laughs> someone with financial delegation at your business and you want to support Rust, the Community Grants Program is earmarked specifically for direct payments to contributors. And if you want to essentially push money to open source, to community contributions, that's a really positive way to do, uh, to, to, to spend your energy. So, yeah, that's everything. Uh, I really, again, just want to reiterate thanks. I want to express uh, my uh, heartfelt appreciation for everyone else that has um, that has submitted an application and explain why it is that someone who's not like a, a bona fide compiler engineer or part of the the they want any of their Rust teams, like the Rust project teams, um, was, was lucky enough or eligible enough for one of these fellowships. I'm going to take on this responsibility with a lot of, uh, with, 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 with as much determination as I can, as I can give it. And, and I hope that you will uh, be with me on that journey. Okay, if you've made it this far, all the way through the video, I applaud you, well done. <laughs> Do uh, keep in touch and let's see where we can get to. Bye.